I'll tell you one thing, man. It's like Jeep heaven, bro. I've seen so many Jeeps that go another one. Go another one, bro. And looky, looky, look. Look, look. Everywhere, bro. The Mopar community is everywhere. Look. They're everywhere, bro. Look. They're freaking everywhere. We hustle daily. What's going on, Hustle Nation? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Big Play Ray. With those hater blockers on in the shot town man still coming to y'all with those shot town videos so make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already man we're going to chicago's cold park today um it's a little drive but they see i seen some cars that i like so i'm gonna go check them out so um like i say make sure y'all subscribe make sure y'all hit that notification bell make sure y'all follow me on all social media platforms TikTok, instagram and most importantly, y'all already know, for y'all who don't know, let me tell you. Make sure you go to whdacademy.com if you don't want a lemon, if you want to learn how to properly inspect cars, if you want to learn how to buy and sell cars without a dealer license, the whole nine. Make sure y'all go to the website and y'all check that out. I see you. Make sure y'all go to the website and check that out. Um, yeah, make sure y'all cop the merch too, man. WeHustleDaily.com, cop your merch, man, support the campaign guys appreciate you guys love you guys so yeah man i'm about to get y'all some b-roll on my way to uh the auction cold part like i said it's a little drive so let's get y'all a little b-roll got a ride downtown so let's get it man nation next day guys so yesterday man that cold park location bro it like i was sitting there waiting for like two hours just to get inside like it was ridiculous i was like it was like five of us that wanted the preview but they were only letting people in uh one at a time well maybe like two at a time or something like that but somebody had to export you you know it's something new they was doing they was explaining it to me but it just took too long for me to get like in the building so i just ended up leaving after i stayed there for two hours and after it took me an hour to get out there so we're headed to another location now hopefully this location doesn't do it i'll actually show y'all on the screen that the new little rule hopefully i remember to put it on there boom there it is that was the new rule man so gotta be exported out there and they was only allowing 10 minutes per car which that wasn't true because she like i told you i was waiting two hours and it was like three people in front of me there's no way i should have been waiting two hours with 10 minutes a piece you feel me so uh yeah so i don't know what was up with that but we ended up leaving up out of there and we are going to another cold part today hopefully um you know i can actually get into this one and check something out but this one I ain't really seen nothing not too much like like that like like that last one. Maybe one or two cars, that's it. And hopefully they crank up, but we're about to see, man. So I see y'all when we get there. Check it out. That's the nice color on there with all the carbon fiber and stuff. That's joint really nice. I think that's that Brandy Ron color. I think so. Look just like my uh 
infinity. All right, y'all, we are in here, but I do not know where to go. It's a nice little mozzie right here. Let's check this out for y'all real quick, mozzie. This one, uh, don't open it, I do have it open actually. This mug is clean, the red and interior. I like the screen, I'm not sure if that's a factory screen, y'all let me know in the comments below, but this mug is pretty nice with the stitching on the seats. And it's convertible too. Like the wheels and everything on it. 2018 model. What y'all think about that one? Decent or what? <clears throat> All right, but let me find out where I actually need to go. Cause I don't know where the hell I need to go, guys. I don't even see no damage on that one. But let me find out where I need to go, guys. Cause I don't know where the hell I need to go. Very first time here, so. Let's see what we got. All right, y'all, and I'm not gonna lie. It was uh, way, way, way faster to get in. So I like this location way better, man. Like, I'm in here quick. So we got a Jeep right here. Tow up from the flow up, but this, oh, I thought this was it. It's not even it. Just walking over here, I thought this was it. They got an SRT8 Jeep. Current bid is like 30 some thousand. They go look, they go Mopars, man. Mopars, yeah, I see it. I don't know how to act, man, but this is not it. I thought this was the SRT Jeep, but it's definitely not it. This is the, just the regular joint. Nice interior on it though. Sunroof, everything with the screen. I don't think all these screens really look like that, but man, now I need to find the cars. <laughs> I thought this was what I came to, what it was it, but it's not. So, I'm gonna keep walking it. Keep walking it. Yeah, so all of these are for sale. So, all right, let me find my car so I won't just be walking and talking. I'll be right back with y'all in a minute. Soon as I cut the camera off, gotta show y'all this, man. This is a SRT8 Jeep. But look what happened to it. You can see the Brembo's on it and everything, man. But look what happened to it. Damn, the whole car, bro. Look what happened to the car. The whole damn car. That's crazy. I don't know what the hell happened to this car, bro. <clears throat> this thing is towed up. Grand Cherokee. Ooh, it says bio, too. Oh, man, the whole front end is, like, caved in on the vehicle, man. That's crazy. Damn. And I'm walking through freaking spider webs. Damn, look, out. look at that. That's crazy. So you can see the SRT right there. Damn, dude, what y'all think happened right here? Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think happened. Cause the whole front end looked like a tree probably fell on it or I don't know if they was going, look at the mirror. The mirror is just chilling right there. That's crazy. Damn. It says bio, but damn, hopefully nobody was in this goddamn tr truck. That's crazy, bro. There's no coming back for this one, man. The motor, motor might be good, I don't know. Full wrap. Motor might be good, can't really tell, but y'all be careful out there, man. Cause like, look at the car, bro. You see it, bro, like the cold car is like down, like the whole roof, bro. So y'all be careful out there, man. Y'all be careful, bro. Damn. I'll tell you one thing, man, it's like Jeep heaven, bro. Jeep heaven. Is this a SRT as well? This might be one. Look, it's like Jeep heaven, dog. I've seen so many Jeeps. I go another one that's a V6, though. What's this one? Yep, this is a SRT. So, a SRT, another one, bro. Another one. The one that I was looking for that's for sale is white. This kind of looks like a regular one, but it looks like a fast one at the same time. I guess it's the wheels. There's the battery up under there. So if you're wondering where your battery was on your SRT, there it is. Got the nice red and uh, black seats. I actually like that. Button back there. You got the suede. Is that suede? I think so. Suede roof. You got the panoramic roof. Panoramic roof. Yeah, this joint nasty. 
This joint nasty, man. I've been seeing a lot of Jeeps in the Chicago area, bro. A lot of Jeeps, whether it's the fast one, uh, the slow one. It was just one over there. I just didn't cut the camera on. Like, it's just hell of them. Hell of these things, man. I know people must really... They go, another one, bro. That's crazy. Like, people must really like these things, man. They must really, uh, you know, they like, 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 they like them here. They cool. I like them, too. But... You know. I don't know. They got the new ones out. I, know. I don't know if y'all seen the new ones. 88,000 miles. We're going to try to crank this one up if it got power. I don't think this one's for sale yet, though, because I did not see it on the list. But it just, nope, no power. Let's see what the motor looking like. I don't even see the damage on this one. To know why this one is here. This is 2015. Excuse me, 88,000 miles, got some miles on it. 6.4, hit me, look a little dusty in here. Yeah, I don't think this one is for sale yet. Hold on, I can look it up for y'all in a minute, though. I can make sure. And looky, looky, look, 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 look. Everywhere, bro. The Mopar community is everywhere. Look at this, bro. Got hell of them in IA, got hell of them in Copart. Look, they everywhere, bro. What's up, Hustle Nation? This video has been sponsored to you by WHDAcademy.com, the online course that's going to teach you everything you need to know about the auction game, all my tips on how to properly inspect cars, and most importantly, how to make money. As you can see, I've been doing this for a while, and as you can also see, I have plenty of testimonials on how I've helped others gain success in this business. So if you're interested in learning, be sure to click the link in the description below. Look, they're freaking everywhere. This is uh, just a regular one right here. Let's see. Uh, it's a stick shift, too. This is a 122 on the miles, 2011. It says Hemi, so I think it might be the... Uh... Damn, that's stuck. I ain't gonna even try to open that, but you can see the damage on that one. Do we got leather on the inside? It says Hemi, but you never know with people these days. They might just set the badges just be sitting badges on the vehicle but it is a stick shift vehicle leather no sunroof seats back seats look good let me see if this one's for sale though this jeep right here let me see and we're gonna check out that other um what's that thing called that other um 392 over there, let me see. Three, four, five. And the current bid on that truck right there is $15,300, so it is for sale. $15,300, that's the current bid just as of right now. Then y'all got this one. This one is nothing special though. This is just a, uh, what you call it? A V6 one. Got leather in it though. Look at the screen. I like how they do the leather and the cloth even on the V6 joints. That's pretty cool. But other than that, it ain't too much, you know, of a difference between them. Then you got the 392. Y'all see what's going on with that one. They probably, looks like wheel came off right here. Probably got some suspension noise messed up in the back. Something like that. This one's, this one's straight. That's a decent one right there. Let's see what the other side look like though. You don't know until you look up the other side. All right, so there you go right there. This is a 2017 model. I don't look that bad. So it's that side with the door up. Got some more damage back here and on the back. It's an RT model. Messed up the little cover in there. Y'all like the white or y'all like that gray over there? Y'all let me know in the comments. Let's see what they look like on the inside though. Let me uh see how much this one is let me see 
Oh, got that. Got that uh red interior in there. This one is not for sale yet. So this one is not up yet yet for sale. But it got that red and the black interior, just like that Grand Cherokee over there. Decent. Some roof it does does have that at least. Let's see what that motor looking like. What y'all got in here? Just a cover. It's pretty clean. Uh, I think this one's probably be a decent one right here with the sunroof. All I really see is that, and it probably some suspension noise, like I say, because of the back of the car. But other than that, man, it it don't look that bad to me. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. But it don't look that bad to me. See what else they got. I think they got one over here. Yep. Can't forget about the gray one, guys. I don't think, I don't know if the gray one's for sale yet. Gray one look kind of cool. Y'all like the gray or the white? This one got a little damage right here. Nothing too major. Cat. This one looks like it got some big old mufflers on it, boy. Huge mufflers. See the exhaust on there. And you don't see these, this body style Jeep. Let me show y'all this Jeep. Y'all don't see these Jeeps in the SRT8s. Y'all don't see these often. The, the ones before that one over there. This one look decent though. Don't look that bad, if you ask me. I don't see nothing wrong with it. They look like they kind of, the wheels are kind of a different color, if you could tell right there. It's like, I don't know, I feel like they they painted them on or something. I, that's what it looks like to me. Let's go on the inside though. Let me see how much they got on this one for y'all. Let's see. This one gonna crank up and everything. So this one is not for sale yet either, but it's a 2015 Charger Scat Pack. It is definitely not for sale yet. But man, Mopar people, Mopar kids, boy, y'all. Y'all, look at these damn things, man. Let's see. Nine thousand miles on this one. It's not bad. I think this one is in better condition than that other one well i ain't heard the white one crank up but i think this one is probably gonna be in better condition you do got some damage here as well i don't know what the hell happened there but uh this is a 20 what i looked it up and it said 2015 it says 2020 on the window so yeah this one is ready to go y'all still got some cooling in it so the cooling didn't drop out this one looks like it's ready to go boy but not yet for sale I like this one as well. They even got one straight on the wall right there. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think though. Would y'all take the, the white or the gray? Let me know in the comments below. Can't leave the Chrysler lovers out. Check this one out. Look like some big wheels on here. 24s, yep, 24s on here. 2015 model Chrysler right here. Big wheels on this thing, man. This thing makes, this, the wheels make this thing look beefy right here. Those wheels, those 24s. Looks like it only needs a window. Windows busted out. Clean on the inside as well, too. Just the S. I don't know if these, I think some of them came V8, right? Let me see if this one will crank up and let me pop the hood. Sunroof, yep. Yep, 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 yep. 95,000 miles on this one. Come on, don't make this hard on me, bro. 
Uh oh, we got a little something around there. I don't know what the hell that is. Like they came from Florida. All right, forget it though. Y'all can see the uh, center console and everything. I'm not about to. Oh, it's already open. I'm, about to I'm not about to climb all the way up there or reach over or none of that. Yep, 3-6. That's all I want to see. And damn, they took all the fuses out, bruh. That was crazy. That thing is full of goddamn coolant, though. You see that? That's crazy, though. They took all the fuses out, bro. There's no fuses in there. But All right, let me see if I can find what I'm looking for here. And uh, let's keep moving, guys. Check out this little thing right here, man. What the heck is this? MG. This is a midget car. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Super small. 1952 midget. I've seen some of these before, but they did they didn't look like this. It's a funny looking car right here, boy. 1952 model. They got the doors all plastic uh, plasticed up. Can't barely even hear the see in here. Show y'all the interior. Y'all get to see it. I really don't. What y'all think on the inside, man? I really can't even see in there. But I think that's because the window's not messing up and the top is kind of messed up. That's why I think it's like that. Oh, and you got the butterfly doors, bro. This is all so cool. Stick shift. Oh, man. Can't really get in there, y'all. I don't want to really mess up the tape, but. Yeah, man. Um, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Shit. I be doing that sometimes. I need to stop doing that. But look, Mopar. Money need to stop doing that, but the, the, I'm looking for one more car. Can't find it. Um, Might have to ask one of them where it's at. And hopefully I'm releasing the videos in the right way because I got the, um, look, I got another freaking uh, Cherokee. But yeah, hopefully I'm releasing the videos in the right way because I can't find the, uh, cause it was a, uh, and they got the M8. That's a new M8, I think. Yeah, it is. I don't know if that one's for sale yet, though. Yeah, it's the new M8. It's crashed up, but... Got the red interior. It's a 2020 model. Crazy on the seats. Center console here. I really like the interior on well I don't know maybe because it's looking a little dusty there's the damage there all right there all right there very new car I don't know if I like the interior y'all I don't know what it is about it I just don't I mean I like it I just don't know if it's so much red like all of this is I don't know it's something about it I don't like. Center console is cool. I like the center console. What y'all think? Y'all think it's nice or what? It's just some. I think this is shouldn't have been red. I think this should have been black. It's just too much red. Maybe that's what it is. I'm not sure, but. And then it's like all of this is red. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments below though. But I don't know. I don't really like it like that. But what y'all think? Y'all seen the damage? They got tape all over the damn car. But yeah, like I was saying, though, um, I might have to ask them where it is because I can't find it. So, um, <sighs> we'll see. But, yeah, they pretty much messed this thing up. The doors kind of smacked everything. Let me see. I think it might have a uh, the latch on there. It's looked like it's been sitting out here for a minute, too. Damn latch just literally broke off, bro. Okay. Well, that's enough for that. But y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think about it. I'm gonna see if I can find this uh last car. And then uh I'm gonna keep it moving. And okay, we got a Hellcat wide body. Look like the whole damn back is off on the car though. That's what it's looking like to me from the back. That thing is looking like a beast from the front. Boy, y'all cannot tell me it ain't. But 
it's the wide body i don't really like black in the wide body because you can't really sell it's a wide body until you get up on it i seen one on the street the other day and i was like damn but look at what happened to her somebody smacked him you can't say it was safe fall boy somebody smacked him and they smacked him pretty bad there but chicago ain't no different man they like look another jeep right here it's crazy bro yeah they smacked them bad dog god dang bro the window busted there window busted there damn dude let me see can i get in the door there nope but it ain't it wasn't nothing but black interior all leather all leather I think that's what it is. Yup, all leather and stuff. But you see, it did get smacked pretty bad. Damn, that's crazy right there. See, I always try, to, I always crack jokes on the Mopar guys, but it don't look like that one was y'all fault, y'all. It don't look like that one was y'all fault. <laughs> but I'm gonna show y'all this little Lexus right here. Y'all, let me know if y'all think this look like a girl Lexus or is it like. Can it be like a unisex Lexus? This is the F Sport, so this one looks a little bit more. Um, damn, this one looks a little bit more. Um, you know, beefier. Damn, they got hit a couple of places. Right there and in the front. FX350. I think this, yeah, it says F on the side, so I'm guessing it's the F. But I'm not sure if it's like the top of the line joint. But what y'all think about the some soft leather right there? What y'all think about this one though? Y'all think this is like a girl truck or y'all could it pass for like a unisex truck? Because sometimes I see them on the street and I think they could they be like girl trucks, but this one it looks kind of beef like you know what I'm saying? It looks like it, it could be a uh, a unisex truck, you know? The seats. I don't know if this is the F though, because I thought the F had the seats in the you know what I'm saying, the fast one. But like how that curve around. What do y'all think about it? Let me know. Is it girly or can it pass for unisex? Y'all let me know in the comments below. You got the F Sport on the steering wheel though, but. All right, Hustle Nation, man. Um, I actually did ask them. They don't even know what the hell the, uh, what you call the truck is, but I did ask them to see if they can find it, but they can't find it. So it is what it is. I'm gonna go get up out of here. Shouts out to the whole Hustle Nation, though. Love you guys. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Rocking with me, man. During the Chicago trip. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Make sure y'all stay tuned because like, that's what I was like. Man, hopefully I release them in order because that Corolla at I-80 that I seen. Hopefully, like I said, I released that video first. Sometimes my videos be out of order, but that Corolla down here. So, y'all remember it was a little rust on the side. If y'all seen it already, it was like a gold beige Toyota Corolla. So, the car is actually about to come up. So, um if y'all see that i won it in this video then i won but if y'all don't see it i don't see it the pre-bid is not high right now but like i told y'all all the time pre-bid does not matter it matters sale day um so it's about to come up so i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one man y'all will see if i win it in this video or i might just save it for the next video but if y'all don't see it then i didn't win it because it went too much for too much money but Appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com if y'all interested in learning how to buy and sell these whips. It's your boy Ray, Big Play Ray. I'm out.